Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to a beautiful little lake on the west coast of Sweden. We come here almost every summer so that Sophie can be close to her family and this year it was extra special because I think the boys are just at that perfect age. We spent our days swimming down by this lake which was in walking distance from our house. We picked bilberries and mushrooms in the woods and just found ourselves connecting with nature again. Of course, there was plenty of cooking and we did a few little outdoor breakfasts over fire, including a recipe for these very delicious pancakes which Sophie grew up on and the boys absolutely love, particularly when they get to pick their own berries. I'm getting more blueberries for Papa. Thank you very much. Oh, look at those blueberries. Thanks, Noah. I don't find myself cooking outdoors as often as I should and it's something I absolutely love doing. You just get this sense of peace and tranquility and I think it's hard not to soak that up. This recipe is one that is so easy to do, it's great to bring with you and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, we have successfully distracted the boys. They're currently sitting up on a bench eating blueberries. Um, and while that happens, we're going to attempt to make some pancakes. These are Swedish style pancakes, so they're a little fattier than your traditional French style crepe. They're very simple to do, and I'm gonna to attempt to do them in a jar because the whole idea is that, that you can travel with these uh, pancake mixes ready to go. So you, all your dry ingredients in a jar, and then you add your wet ingredients when you're ready to go, give it a shake up, and then you can pour it out. So it's a shake and take pancake mixture that's Swedish style and it's delicious. And Traditionally they're served with cream and jam and that's exactly how we're going to do it this morning. It is just one of those recipes that is particularly satisfying when you're making it outdoors. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go because they are hyper already and it's only 7 o'clock in the morning so come with me while we make pancakes in the woods. <laughs> what could go wrong? So now we're going to attempt to test the theory and give it all a good shake up. I might need to get the fork in there to scrape out the bottom bits, but essentially you should have your pancake mix all ready to rock. pretty good we've got nice pancakes cooked we've got uh, some cream in a bottle which we're gonna shake up and hopefully it'll get a little bit thicker cream pancakes blueberries it's summer baby ah. pancakes are cooked to finish this off a little bit of cream over the top, some blueberries, and a little bit of icing sugar. Happy days. So we've got cream, we've got blueberries, and then it's just a case of rolling it up. Just have a look at that. Cream, blueberries, and a little bit of icing sugar. Time to dive in. The interesting thing about the pancakes here are that they're a little bit fattier. They're kind of like rib sticking pancakes and they work really well with the cream and the blueberries. I think there's something about eating it beside a lake that always just makes it taste a little bit different. Now, if you like the look of this, of course, I will leave the recipe in the box below. Make sure you hit subscribe and leave me a comment. Until then, I'm signing off from a little lake in Sweden. Hey do! Now, you can come to a lake in Sweden without getting pushed in, and who better to do the job than these two nutters? They are as thick as thieves, 
and I think we're in trouble. That was cold. <laughs> All that's left to say now is have a great rest of the summer, whatever you're doing. Wishing you lots of love and a big hey-do from Sweden. See you soon, guys.